Thank you for coming back to We The People News. Please subscribe, leave your thumbs up, and please leave your comments. First of all, I want to say thank you so much for all the support that you give me on this channel, allowing me to do this. Thank you so much. Yesterday's video, if you did not see it, I will link it to the end of this video. There's a lot of good stuff I don't want you to miss, and it would help me out a lot. Thank you. Don't forget to hit the bell icon so you'll be notified when we make new videos or go live. Okay now, is AOC really about to go to jail? We're going to talk about that in just a minute. But first, <clears throat> some people will say I'm crazy and I'm just dreaming. Well, maybe I am, but I don't think so. But I do believe that the America that we knew when we was kids, you remember it. We felt safe. We felt proud of our government. You had real dreams for your future. I believe that America is still out there. But our government won't let us reach our dreams, won't let us reach our full potential. They want us to kneel down before them. Well, I'm here to tell you, I will not kneel down before them or anyone but Jesus Christ. We can take back our dreams, we can take back our government, we can take back our future, but it depends on what we do in the midterms. Y'all, our future is 100% up to us. It's what we do in the midterms. I just hope we all do the right thing. Okay, now let's get into this AOC thing. On AOC's little theatrical show of being arrested and faked handcuffs, I don't have to explain to you the fake handcuffs. You've seen them. Let me ask you, did you notice something real peculiar there? How many times have you seen these big rallies and somebody gets arrested and there's only one cop doing the arresting? Normally, if one person is getting arrested in, in a rally like that, it's up to 10 cops doing the arresting. Well, with her, it was one cop walking peacefully with her, like they're on a park stroll. So, did she go down to the precinct? Did she get booked? Was she put in a cell until the judge says, okay, let her sign herself out? I don't think so. I hadn't heard no one say that. I hadn't seen the pictures of her actually being booked. So, was she really arrested, or was this just a big show? I really believe that that cop was a paid actor. She was making a point. That was a fake arrest, fake handcuffs, everything about that whole show was fake. Now, if it was you or me, we would be down on the ground. We'd be being choked out. We would be tased we would be in real handcuffs and leg irons and it wouldn't be just one cop it would be 10 of them on us just something to think about yesterday i talked about nobody is wanting nancy pelosi to take her trip to taiwan china don't want her to go the american people don't want her to go joe biden don't want her to go but she says she wants to go, so she's going. She don't care. She don't care what she leads our country to. But someone in my comments yesterday said that they don't, it was several people saying they don't care if she goes or not. In fact, they want her to go and they want something to happen to her. Y'all, I, I could care less what happens to Nancy Pelosi. I'm worried about the United States. We have been warned that Nancy Pelosi should not go. Now when she goes, what's going to happen? Are they going to retaliate against her? Or against the United States? And if they do retaliate against her, we have to retaliate against them. So therefore, her going could put us right in the middle of a war. A nasty war. It won't be a war of paperwork. It won't be a war of tariffs it won't be a 
a war of embargoes it won't be anything like that sanctions it won't be that type of war this will be a bloodbath no Nancy Pelosi should not go and the president should order her not to go Dr. Doolittle Fauci says he doubts that Joe Biden has tested negative for C-19 he thinks it's too soon this comes from the Daily Mail. But he thinks it's too soon to test negative. But Joe Biden is having these meetings with lots of people. And he's not wearing a mask. The White House spokesperson was asked by Peter Ducey, why isn't the president wearing a mask in these meetings just coming out of COVID? And the spokesperson said everyone else in the White House has been triple vaxxed. Well, let me ask you, wasn't Joe Biden triple vaxxed? He got COVID, or so they say he did. So what's keeping these other people that he's meeting with from getting COVID? I really look for a, in the next week, a big outbreak of COVID in the White House. And it's all from Joe Biden, if in fact he did have COVID. So only time will tell. But he was triple vaxxed, he got it. Now they're saying that other people don't have to wear a mask because they've been triple vaxxed, they won't get it. Do they make up these things as they go? Last thing I want to talk about before I get out of here. Joe Biden says we are not in a recession and we will not be in a recession. That sounds great. That sounds like we're going to be okay. But try telling that to the people on Social Security, SSI, SSDI, and VA. Try telling that to people with low and no income that we're not in a recession and we're not going to be in one. These people has been in a recession for years. And since Joe Biden's been in office, it has tripled or it has grown so much harder for these people to get by, get the necessities of life, pay their rent, pay their utilities, pay their car payment if they're lucky enough to to have a car or to buy their medicine buy their groceries I mean these people are in a recession now they was in a recession before Joe Biden and now Joe Biden has made it worse but he says we won't ever be in a recession he says a recession is not coming maybe not for him or his household because they're living like rock stars on our dime Joe Biden just keeps making matters worse. Will we make it to the 2024 vote? Y'all please comment below. Get it off your chest, off your mind, off your heart. Let me know what you think about all the things that I said here. Please watch the video that's popping up here now. That was yesterday's video. It would help me out a lot on YouTube if you watch it. And there is a lot of good stuff I don't want you to miss. The midterms, again, it's up to us. Do we want our country back? If we do, we know what we have to do in the midterms. If we don't do the right things in the midterm, it's our own fault. We can't complain anymore. Y'all, the best thing I can tell you is keep your faith in Jesus Christ. He will get us through all this garbage. Say a prayer for our country. Say a prayer for our world. Say a prayer for everyone around the world that's hurting through COVID, financial hardship, or any other affliction. And say a prayer for those elected employees in Washington that are not doing their job, and we will fire them in the midterms and in 2024. Y'all, I love you all. Please sound off in the comments. Let me know how you feel about all this stuff. Let me know what you're doing. Let me know how you're handling this situation. I would love to hear from you. Until tomorrow, ciao.